G'day coppers and welcome back to All Things Halo. So, in here we have something mega special. Pun was intended. This, my friends, is like the holy grail of Halo heroes. So let's bust this open, take a look, and have a look at this mega awesomeness. And look how gorgeous these are. A complete series one of Halo Heroes. Pretty much a grail to be in package, but also be in your Halo Mega collection if you collect Mega. But I feel like Halo Heroes is so iconic that you would just want a set anyway. And especially series one, this is where it all started. This is where Halo Heroes started. And it is a fantastic wave. We've got a couple cool name characters, got some cool armor. And just to let you know, I'm not opening these in this deep dive. I am just gonna have a look. I'm gonna rotate the packages. I'm gonna point out things from in the package because I feel like these are collector items now. These are way too expensive just to open. You don't really see complete sealed sets of these anywhere really. You might see the occasional odd loose figure, but seeing them sealed is pretty special. So let's take a look at these awesome figures. So the first figure we're going to take a look at is Vale, and she is a very, very nice figure. I do feel like the newer iterations of Vale have been uh, much better. She doesn't have too much paintwork in here, but she is still a beautiful figure nonetheless. But I like her little red shoulder pad in there. She doesn't actually have shoulder pads, they're just painted, which is pretty cool because she had quite slender um, shoulder pads in the game anyway. So. It's really nice. A little bit of box damage up here, but that's not going to hurt anybody. I'm just so, so, so blessed to have these in my collection. It's awesome. The backing for all of these are slightly different, obviously representing different characters and blah, blah, blah. But Veil, vale, looking good. Next up, Spartan Orbital. And this guy is pretty cool. I feel like they low-key tried to go the, the subtle Emil kind of vibes with the skull on the visor. But, you know, it's okay. They, they, they tried their best. I know that was a Halo 4 thing, if I remember correctly. But um, not really a fan. I feel like you could have just brought Emil's helmet in and you would have just made everybody happy. But um, really nice paint apps. Cool white decals on here. The little skulls match. It's really, really nice. Awesome shoulder pads, got paint on there too. Awesome DMR as well, I really like that. It's really nice. I love the blue stand as well. That's really nice in this wave. On the back, same as the other one, just missing Spartan Orbital, obviously. Very nice. Now on to Spartan Defender, and this guy is probably my least favorite. He looks much better here, depicted in this artwork, than he does here. So the green and the blue, I feel like, don't match very well. They're, they're too bright, so they conflict. The silver on his armor is really nice, and his weapon looks great. But maybe if the green was darker, like how it is in the in the artwork here. But um, overall, it's still pretty cool. It's nice to have, and it's, it's part of Series 1, so it's always going to be iconic. Same with the backing. Spartan Defender is missing, but all the others are there. Really nice figure. Shame about the paintwork. Still cool. Moving on to Spartan Thorn, and this guy is fantastic. The blue, the white, the black, the orange, it just all contrasts so well. This type of paint application is gorgeous. I love it so much. It reflects really well in the artwork here, so that's really nice as well. His suppressor looks great. He, oh, he's just fantastic. And Thorn himself, I feel like he had a lot of potential as a character in the game, so that's really nice. Back is the same, obviously missing Spartan Thorn. Oh, this figure is awesome. Awesome, and I, I think they did a complete fire team majestic in Halo Heroes, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure what waves, obviously, because we barely get any sort of mega here in Australia. So, sorry for that one, but this figure is awesome. So, onto everybody's favorite ODST, we've got Buck. He is quite light here. I'm pretty sure in the new version that came with the UNSC Wombat, he's quite dark. So. Interesting choice of paint apps, but he still looks good. He's got a good contrast going on. He looks nice. His AR is good. You know, overall, pretty ODST-like, if you ask me. Nothing super special, but um, obviously he's a named character, that, so that's nice. But I wish they added his um, actual face in there. That would be really cool. But obviously, you know, could be asking for a little bit too much. Back is the same, just missing Buck, obviously. 
Great figure, iconic, and he's a part of Series 1, so that just makes it so much better. Now onto everybody's favorite Spartan Master Chief. He looks absolutely amazing. Nice paint apps. The addition of 117 is nice. A few little red accents here and there, which is nice. I'm pretty sure this is the Halo Legends version of Master Chief or the Halo 4 Forward into Dawn Master Chief because he's not the Halo 3 or the Halo 4 ver version. He's that um, in between. It looks really nice. Really nice painted AR. Looking absolutely perfect. The box and the cardboard is in like beautiful condition, so I'm really grateful for that. The back is the same, obviously just missing Master Chief, but this figure is gorgeous. And there we have it, a nice close look at all of Halo Heroes Series 1. Like I keep saying, I am so blessed to have these in my collection, like I am super lucky. If you do manage to get your hands on like sealed ones of these, Please keep them, just display them as they are in the box because these boxes are really nice. These are my favorite iteration of the boxes. They have changed a little bit over time. I think these ones were the most sturdy and the most well protected, I guess you could say. But these figures are awesome. Let me know which series you liked. I do love the Let Valir. I am still on the hunt for one of those. He is absolutely amazing. I really want to add him to my collection. If you have one, if you have a spare one in the box, let me know and we can talk and we can work something out. But um, thank you for watching. Like, comment and subscribe. It's the best way to help the channel. And as always, enjoy your day.